Hi, I haven't made a video in a while and it has its reasons. One reason is because of some comments I get on my YouTube channel. Don't get me wrong, most comments are great. Thank you so much for commenting on my video and help me with uh, your suggestions and uh, opinions on my comment section. Some comments are not so nice and it got me thinking about the rules in art, rules in music, studio, photography, videography, all those things. That's why I needed a break and I will tell you about that in this video. But first, I'm at a conference. I'm hired as a sound engineer. So I'm fixing the sound for 300 people attending this conference. And with me, I have a light engineer, a picture engineer, and a stage manager. It's a great team, it's a great job. Yeah, I, well, I didn't have time to shoot any video in order, so I'm back home. But it was a good job. I worked with Pelle, light engineer. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, making an environment that's uh, stress-free and uh, <laughs> yeah, and awesome. That's my job. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. Andreas that took care of the video production. The big picture, I'm controlling it. The big picture. The projector and uh, with all the uh, images and stuff. So like TV, but bigger. Yes. <laughs> like it? Yeah, it's uh, fun. Cool. And the stage manager, Jimmy. Uh, I'm taking care of the mics for my friend Roger at the uh, <laughs> front of house. <laughs> okay, so you're like the stage manager. Uh, sort of, taking care of the mics and uh, when people going up and down on the stage and s so on. And see, see so everyone is feeling okay. Yeah. And, uh, good job. Yeah. It was a good job. We had a good room, a great crew, a great equipment. Long days though. We worked from 7.30 in the morning until 11 at night. But it was a good job. I felt confident. It was, it was nice. I was working as a sound engineer more like 10, 12 years ago and back, but I had to stop it because people, at least in Sweden, couldn't see that I was both a musician and a sound engineer. I was either in people's eyes. For me, there's no difference really. It's all in the package of music and sound. And also, I find myself working in so many different styles, so many different genres, or what you say. I conduct choirs, I play in rock bands, I entertain at after ski. I'm, I'm hired as a church musician sometimes. And for me, there's so little difference. It's the same notes, it's the same harmonies, it's the same rhythms. Yeah, well, the attitude differs and where you put your focus differs. But it's all in the big package we call music. And I've been working with this freelance for more than 30 years. And that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel. I want to share what I've learned with you, and I'm still learning. I'm studying music every single day still, and I've been doing it since I was 10. And what I've found is, I'm not the first one. I, 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 I won't take credit for this, but there are no rules. None. Zero. There are guidelines. Guidelines that could help you make a faster result, get to a faster result, or maybe sometimes a better result because you know the principles, maybe you know the, the laws of nature when it comes to sound, miking techniques, things like that. But there are no rules. Rules you can't break. But everything in music and audio you can break. Therefore, there are no rules. What we call things, X, Y, miking or something, is just a way to make ourselves understood. So you understand what I'm talking about. The name is, is not important. It's not important at all. 
if you learn from experience where you should use this miking technique, that could be beneficial. What it's called doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. It's true, it doesn't matter. Beethoven, Beethoven composer, took lessons from Joseph Haydn, famous Austrian composer. And Joseph Haydn told Beethoven that you have to learn the rules so you will find the best way to break them. And I agree with that a bit, because if you learn the guidelines, if you learn the laws of nature or how the software bit depth works, you will find workarounds uh, and where you could break them or even where you should break them. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have any Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Picasso, Stravinsky, Mozart, if they followed the rules. We wouldn't have Alan Bloomline or Rupert Neve if they followed the rules. They were skilled, they had a lot of knowledge, but they broke all the rules. And by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm in my living room because I'm redoing my home studio room. I want to make it more convenient for me to work, uh, writing music, arranging music, uh, also home studio work, and making these videos. So hopefully you will get more videos more consistently in the future, I hope. And I also have to mention the things I started the video with uh, about the comments on my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. But there are some people that wants to tell you that you have to do this. You should do this. You can't do this. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. And you can't tell me what to do or what I should do. If you don't agree with me, that is fine. Because then you have made your own opinion. Made your, maybe you have, if I do something totally wrong, I mean, if I have f false facts, then of course, tell me. But if I do something that you don't agree with, just accept it and know that you have already learned this your way and you have found your way of doing it, which is the whole purpose of this YouTube channel. If you take away only one thing from my YouTube videos, I hope it would be that it's your taste that matters. It's your opinion that matters. And there are no rules, or should I say guidelines. Guidelines there are, but no rules. And rules in Swedish is regler. Regler. Actually, I feel very relieved that I said this on my YouTube channel, on a video. I feel better. I hope you feel good. See you soon, Roger that.